Hello everybody, my name is Stupid Splat and welcome back to Burly Men at Sea Let's Play. And last time we explored whatever little shanty town, if that's a pirate term. Uh, and we escaped the whale, and this time we have life preservers! Because I didn't know they were a thing before. Life jackets, you could use the barrels. And from this point on, I have no idea what's going to happen. We just have to go with the flow. Tiring, the barrel clothed men settle back to drift with the current. We as well see where this takes us, observe Steady Beard bleakly. That's Steady Beard? Huh. Time passes, Brave Beard begins to snore raucously from behind. Time passes. It's better than ellipses. 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 Sorry, that's an ulti Zeta reference from his uh, mystery dungeon. Let's play. Looks like a Viking ship. Ship ahead! The shout wakens Bravebeard, who eagerly overturns his barrel, resurfacing a moment later to cough out. It begins! What? What the devilry? exclaims Hasty Beard. I agree, what is that? The grim cloaked figure clears his throat as he approaches. <clears throat> Greetings. Please climb aboard for your complimentary trip to the afterlife. Uh, well replies Steady Beard. Thank you, but we prefer the long way. There's a long silence. The figure is masked, but the men feel distinctly that he is sulking. At least he leaves a desolate sigh. He heaves a desolate sigh. Do not willingly forfeit your souls. He pleads. It is quite painless, and I would at last be promoted from this apprentice issue rowboat. Another silence follows. Then he discur he continues despairingly. There must be a race. At this, Hasty Beard's face cheers significantly. Maybe you would be so kind to lose? No, of course not. He sighs again deeply. We race through the cliffs of despair, he explains mournfully. If the three of you pass me at any point, I lose. If I take the lead, however, unlike... If I take the lead, however unlikely, I don't lose. Meaning, you win? I had not thought of it that way, but I suppose I would be the ca it would be the case, yes. Without waiting to confer, Hasty Beard sets off, paddling furiously. Damn, look at him go. I was trying to go for, like, Sirius Snape, Severus, Severus Snape from Harry Potter with that Reaper, but uh, that didn't work. <laughs> Yeah, I was trying to go for a Severus Snape, but then I don't know what happened. Huh. I'm assuming I have to hold right on the right thumbstick this entire time. I have really no what to I have no idea what to do, but I'm guessing I'm just holding down the right I don't know. Because it seems like we're just stuck here. Oh. What? Ooh. No. What am I doing? I don't know. What? 
I don't know what I'm doing. How do I... What? Ah. Okay. I didn't know I could move the cursor and interact. Oh, okay. Well, at least that wasn't 20 minutes. <laughs> Really very sorry for scuttling your promotion and all that offer steady beard. It's not so bad, tries Brave Beard. You've a boat and that very that nice scary mask. I do have a nice mask. <laughs> Sniffs the muffled voice. Great, well goodbye calls Hasty Beard paddling away the others join him. <laughs> wow, Hasty Beard. Way to throw salt in the wound there, buddy. Okay, now what? The long way. But what would happen if I didn't do that? Like if I let the Reaper win? Hmm. <laughs> Something to think about. Well, there goes the sun. As opposed to here comes the sun by the Beatles. After a time, the men begin to notice something strange about the setting sun. His course seems to be drifting gradually left. Never seen the mo sun move like that, Bravebeard muses aloud. What's it up to? Steadybeard looks worried. I have a feeling it's more serious than that, than a wayward sun. Did you notice the wind? Can't seem to make up its mind. Aye, far worse, realizes Hasty Beard. It's a current we're caught in. And the mischievous one at that by my reckoning. Ed Steady Beard, his voice growing more tense. We're drifting in a circle and faster by the minute. Bravebeard shouts names uh, their fear. Wait. Bravebeard's shout names their fear. Maelstrom! Maelstrom? Oh, that's them! From high above, the water's accelerating swirl is unmistakable. The men paddle furiously, by the, but the widening vortex is inescapable. They are carried deeper, thrown against the rising wall of water. Whoa. What do I do? What do I do? I don't... What, what do I do here? I have a cursor. I'm not afraid to use it. It's doing something with these. I I don't know. Am I doing it good? I'm guessing no. Whirling faster as it narrows, the maelstrom swallows the barrels and drags the men from drags the men from them into the deeper darkness, deepening darkness. I had no idea what to do. They're alive. So there's that. Whoa, fish. More fish. How can they live under... Wait, how can they breathe this f long? Huh? Jellyfish. So what's the point of this cursor if I can't interact with anything? <clears throat> no clue. I feel like I killed them. Well met, bearded travelers. Well met, bearded travelers. The voice is deep musical. Eh? That's my announcing voice, voice, voice. Sorry. Whoa. 
Er, hello. Summer's brave beard, odd. The absurdity of underwater speech only adds to the wonder apparent on his face. You've seen much this day. Sh oh, sorry. I'm trying to think. Um, you have seen much this day. She continues smiling. The men nod unnecessarily. Yet you have not seen all. She peers at each of them. Other paths lie untrodden behind you. If it is in your hearts to seek these paths, another day awaits. You see Bear clears his throat nervously. Pardon my interruption, ma'am. But we've no longer any vessel with which to seek them. At least at lost at sea she was. The silvery laugh ripples the water around them. You have traveled far without her, have you not? But do you but do not be troubled. That which is lost may yet be found. May we meet again at the end of the other path, inclining her glimmering head in farewell, the creature slips silently away into darkness. I had a feeling that it was a female voice. Just by the loose ends. In that quiet that follows, the men find themselves still sinking. I really feel like I killed them. I have the sinking, pardon the pun, sinking feeling that I killed them. But they appear to be okay. I mean, we cheated death. Not really. With the Reaper. But then we still got sucked down in the vortex. At least there's light coming. Fantastic. Just to keep a track of my time here. Oh, uh, we're back in the coffee shop. Thought you'd find a way to that door eventually. The old man greets them. The familiar way has a way. The familiar has a way of masking itself. New when you look at it sideways. Never seen that part of the island before, I bet. The men shake their heads. Still have the map, he questions. Steady beard nods, silently passing it to him. It is that gentleman from the coffee shop. I see you managed to find those adventurous deeds. Did ye, did ye meet her? These voices are starting to kill me. Aye, Bravebeard is first of the brothers to speak. Magnificent she was, like the sea arm of the old tales. But she told us we've more to see. Aye, but it'll be there when you're ready for another go. The old man gestures to the books. Those shelves are full of tales like yours and all with parts left untrod. There's twinkle in his eye. I even contributed a few in my time. You see, he continues, what's left unwritten in one story can fill others if ye the inclination to sail again. Have another look at that shelf. <coughs> Sorry. Burly men at sea, Steadybeard reads aloud. Not a bad title, that. 
But what's all... But what's all this numerical business on the spine? And how did... He gives them a sly look. There's another... That's another mystery if you... The curiosity of, for it. And one last thing, continues the old man. I don't mind telling you now that I was the one who sent you... Sent your bottle to sea. I've another to be tossed out for the next curious soul. Will ye do the honor? Okay. I love the fourth wall break. That was it? Wait, what? No. Really? No. This can't be it. No way. There's... Huh? There's no way that that's the full game. There's no way. Unless it's cyclical. Huh? There's no way that that... There's no way... That that's the full game. There's no way... No way! There's no way that this is the full game. There's no way. There's gotta be no way. She's come back to us, exclaims Hasty Beard, and more lively than we left her. Courtesy of Barnal Barnacle Transport Service, Inc. Read Steady Beard from a notice on the side. Why, that great lovery bellyache did us a good deed. There's no way that's the full game, though. This is boggling my mind. There's gotta be more. Those had to be opening credits. There's no way that those were end credits. Oh my god, again, really? Wait a minute! I'm literally so confused. I'm not even gonna bother with the voices. Be welcome, wayward pilgrims. One speaks one of the nymphs. For who can resist the majesty of the great barnacled one? So it is, we awaited your return. Hard to resist when you're sucked down like a clam in stew, growls Bravebeard. The great one journeys this way daily so that through him all may one day find the place of promise. Predictably, the nymphs trade nods of approval. Will you wait with us here by the fire? Or is it the way of faithless you seek? I feel like there's so many different endings because there's no way that's the full game. There's... L l there's really no way that this is the full game, though. I'm just gonna go again and see if that is the full game. That'll be our exit, observes Hasty Beard eagerly. Give her a tug. But we aren't properly floated, contends a nervous steady beard. We can't go about tossing ourselves overboard without certain assurances. Rubbish, grants Brave Beard. Give me water and I'll teach it to carry me. Yeah, do that. Do that. Because I'm really curious if this is just cyclical. If this is all just cyclical, I'm sorry how many times I've said that in the last five minutes. But... 
Give me water, he says, growls Hasty Beard. Well, weave water all right into spare. Any other requests? Brave Beard aims a fish at his head. Shaking his head, Steady Beard begins to resolutely to, resolutely to swim. Okay. Um, if I do know they're a part of this, it's going to be really short. So that's going to be it for this video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, make sure to drop a like on this video and to stay in tune with the rest of this Let's Play or what's left of it. Uh, make sure to subscribe and hit that bell notification button for future content like this. Otherwise, thank you everybody so much for watching. I'll get you guys next time.